question. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. This afternoon, the chamber will continue to hear the victim impact statement of civil parties, including two CCP 992. Before we invite uh, the state of civil party into the courtroom to express his or her victim impact statement, the chamber would like to uh, issue a ruling in relation to the matters, pre preliminary issue raised last week. On 26 August 2015, the trial chamber began a key document hearing in relation to the trial topic of work sites. As reiterated in the chamber's memorandum E315-1, the purpose of such hearings is to provide the parties with an opportunity to present documents they consider to be particularly relevant to each Topic. See also E170, E288-1-1. During the presentation by the Office of the Co Prosecutors, International Council for Nguyen Chia objected to the presentation of written records of interview obtained by the Office of the Co Investigating Judges. Subsequently, Counsel for both Nguyen Chia and Kyu Sampan abandoned the courtroom. On, August, on 27 August 2015, the Chamber requested each defense team to provide the legal basis for its abandonment of the courtroom they, the previous day. See also E361. Neither of the defense teams were able to provide any valid legal basis for this conduct. International Council for Nguyen Chia admitted that his departure from the court was indeed without any legal justification. Council for Nguyen Chia justified their work out based on their objection to the co-prosecutor's abilities to present written records of interview during the key document hearings. They submit that these should not be considered documents for the purposes of key document hearings. Transcript 27 August 2015. Pages 51, 52, draft. The Chamber reiterates that during the key document hearings, parties may refer to any documents already admitted in case 002-2, while parties might be expected to rely more heavily upon contemporaneous documents rather than si written records of interview si in the context of these hearings, the Chamber has never excluded reference to written records of interview. The Chamber reminds the parties that as document evidence need not necessarily be tendered during the examination of individuals appearing before the Chamber, these hearings are intended to assist the Chamber and the parties in identifying those documents particularly relevant to the trial and also serve to provide a public accessibility to the documentary aspect of the trial. Case 002-01, Judgment, paragraphs 67-68.
to ensure adversarial debates, all parties are permitted to comment on the documents presented by the other parties. The Chamber emphasized that the submissions made by the parties during the proceedings, including key document hearings, will be taken into consideration at the conclusion of the hearing of the evidence in case 002-02 when assessing all evidence admitted at the trial and in accordance with the criteria set forth in its relevant jurisprudence. Au débat, produit au procès et conformément aux critères With regards to written records of interview and civil party application, as the Chamber has indicated previously, the absence of oral testimony and opportunity for confrontation are relevant considerations in assessing what, if any, probative value and weight may be accorded to any written records of interview and to civil party applications admitted in place of oral testimony. See, for example, E96-7 and E299. Accordingly, the, accordingly, the chamber reiterates it previous ruling during the key document hearing that Nunchia objection to the presentation of written records of interview during said hearings is unfounded. Separately, the Kyo Sampon defense oral submission raised other concerns regarding issues related to ongoing disclosure from cases 03 and 04. In particular, International Council for Kyosun Pond demanded that the Chamber address the requests made in its conclusion de la défense de M. Kyosun Pond sur l'application de communication des co-procureurs E363 filed on 28 August 2015. The Chamber notes that some of the issues raised in that document had already been addressed by the trial chamber in its guidelines on the disclosure of cases 03 and 04 civil party applications in case 002-02, a courtesy copy of which was distributed to the parties in advance of the hearing on 24th August 2015. The Chamber will address the other issues raised therein after receiving responses from the other parties. The Kyosun Pond defense also specifically objected to the co-prosecutors presenting 18 written records of interviews from cases 03 and 04 during the key document hearing on 26 August 2015. As already indicated during the same hearing, on 17 July 2015, the Chamber granted a written motion filed by the co-prosecutors on 25 May 2015 for this written record to be admitted in case 002-02 as new evidence pursuant to Internal Rules 87, 3 and 4. C319 22 1. The Chamber notes that the Kyo Sampon defense remained silent, refraining from raising any objection to the, to the co prosecutor's motion. Accordingly, the co prosecutors will be permitted to present these written, written records during the key document hearing. De l'audience consacrée aux documents clés.
the Kyosun Pawn defense also objected to the presentation of documents D195.7 and E342.1. The co-prosecutors have subsequently indicated that they will not be presenting document E342.1. The chamber knows that document D195.7 has not been admitted in K002-02. Accordingly, the co-prosecutors will not be permitted to present this document during the key document hearing. The judges of this trial recognized the difficulties and stresses involved for all the parties in this very long and complicated proceeding. The Chamber has and will continue to address to the best of its ability all issues that arise in a fair and consistent manner. The Chamber has and will continue to allow every party the opportunity to be fully heard in an appropriate manner and appropriate on appropriate and relevant issues. During the session on 27 August 2015, some Disparaging statements were made by Mr. Kope and directed to members of the trial panel. While the tribunal respects Mr. Kope's right to have his opinions and his right to free speech, some of those comments that were made in court appear to overstep to the bounds of legitimate courtroom behavior. The chamber is in the process of considering what action would be appropriate to take in this matter. Mr. Cooper himself acknowledged that his conduct would in some jurisdictions constitute the misconduct known as contempt of court. The chamber wishes first to offer Mr. Cooper an opportunity to correct his behavior and notes that if he fails to do so, the chamber will have no choice but to take some action. The chamber will notify the parties further on this situation in due course of time. Finally, based on assurances regarding court attendance provided on 27 August 2015 by counsel for both different teams, the trial chamber does not consider it necessary to take any action at this time with respect to the co-prosecutor request regarding the future course of the key document hearing relating to work sites, document E360. S'agissant de la requête des coprocureurs au sujet de la marche à suivre pour les audiences des documents clés, document E360. Now, we proceed to hearing of victim impact statement. Call officer, please invite TGP 992 into the courtroom. Veuillez faire entrer le 2 TCCP 992 dans le civil tribunal. Civil party will come to test to her suffering. Vient présenter ses souffrances.
สุดท้ายลูกท้ายดามดังรับรับวันนี้แต่ลูกท้ายชั่วโมงไอ้ Afternoon Madam Civil Party What is your name Civil Party Good Afternoon Mr President My name is Chau Lang I was born on the first January 1951 My birth village Was at Chang Chamres Village, a recycled quarter of Phnom Penh City. Currently, I am living in Kok Chong Village, a recycled quarter of Phnom Penh District, Prasihan City. Thank you. Can you tell the court what your parents' names were? Answer, Mr. President, my father's name is Chao Sang, and my mother's Sim Sokom. My father was a former soldier at the Brasov military barrack in Swaziland Province. President, thank you. What about your husband? What is his name, and how many children do you have? Civil Party, Mr. President, my husband's name is Kum Khon. I have uh, three children, two sons and one daughter. I am divorced. I, uh, we, we have been divorced for almost 30 years. President, so does it mean that nowadays you are a widow? Answer, yes, Mr. President. President, thank you. The Chamber would like to inform the public and parties that During this victim's impact statement, the chamber contacted uh, TBO, and uh, now uh, Madame Maridaid is here accompanying the civil party during the time that this civil party is expressing her victim's impact statement. The Staff from TBO is here to support psychologically to the civil party during the time that the civil party is expressing her sufferings and injuries in the democratic Cambodia. Madame Chao Lang. As a civil party, you may make a victim's impact statement if any concerning the crimes which are alleged. And uh, you also give an opportunity to express harm suffered by you during the democratic Cambodia, resulting in your civil party application to claim collective and moral reparations for physical, material, or mental injuries as direct consequences to those crimes which uh, are alleged against the two accused, Nguyen Chia and Kyu Samphorn. And uh, these crimes happened uh, between the 17th April 1975 uh, to the 6th January 1979. So please, Madame Civil Party, focus your statement on work site. That is the Pengtmo work site, and please express of what you have stated in your civil party application. According to the request of the civil party lawyers, the chamber now gives the floor first to legal lawyers to put questions in relation to harm suffered by Madame Chao Lang. You may now proceed. 
mình men như vậy em bị ăn hạt nơi tập ăn thơm tới lục thiên cứ nơi chân lục mùi mà cái này xong mà còn lục thiên the party will not express her suffering in relation to the ăn thơm dam work site you may have confused Mr President President yeah I may have confused it is it has something to do with the 1st January dam work size. You may not proceed. President, uh, Madame Chao Lang, could you please tell the court uh, how you want to proceed? how you want to express the impact statement. Do you want to express the sufferings now or do you want to leave to your lawyer to put questions to you in relation to the topic before us? There are two options. Number one is to allow the civil party ex to express the suffering by him or herself. And if you want to resort to option number one, you can do so. But you have to tell to your civil party legal lawyers to understand about this option. Or option two, you can leave to your legal lawyer to put questions to you in relation to the suffering you endured during the time. So these are two options that we have applied so far. Possibilités que nous avons appliquées jusqu'à présent. Civil party lawyer, uh, civil party rather. I would like to allow my uh, civil party lawyer to put questions to me. President, you may not proceed. Uh, lead call lawyer for civil party. But uh, Mr. President, now I would like uh, to seek the floor for lawyer Lao Chun Thi to put question to this civil party. President, you may not proceed. Uh, lawyer Lao Chun Thi. Law, lawyer Lao Chun Thi. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Everyone in and around the courtroom. Good afternoon, Madam. Chao Lang, I am a civil Chao party Lang, lawyer. I will have a few questions to put to you in relation to the 1st January dam work site. First, I would like you to tell the court about the period uh, before 1975, before the 17 April 1975, shortly before that time. Where were you? Answer. Good afternoon, Mr. Lawyer. Thank you very much. Prior to 1975, one month before the Khmer New Year, I was working in the hospital 404 in Siem Reap province. Before the fall of the regime, I met a person who was in charge of storing uh, explosives in Siem uh, He was a colonel. She was a Filipino uh, colonel. And uh, at that time, she told me uh, to seek leave so that I could uh, go to visit my house that uh, Filipino understood that uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, 
would uh, de defeat uh, Phnom Penh. And after Khmer Rouge uh, was able to defeat uh, Phnom Penh, uh, the whole country uh, would be controlled uh, by Khmer Rouge. That a uh, Filipino uh, colonel told me uh, to uh, ask permission to visit my parents in advance so that I could stay with my parents. And uh, she also instructed me to hide uh, Completely my biography. I was told that uh, after uh, Khmer Rouge uh, defeated uh, the former regime, uh, they would uh, search for uh, those who worked in the former regime. And uh, after background, their backgrounds uh, had been uh, found out, uh, they would uh, be killed. In my understanding, to my knowledge at that time, I believed that, that uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, would not uh, kill us. So I went to Phnom Penh. I met my parents at uh, Songkat number four. Fifteen days later, a friend of a friend of my parents de mes parents, uh, came to ask me to go to Kinswai and Kinswai uh, play the traditional games. Uh, uh, and I arrived at Kinswai on the 13th of April 1975. It was a happy game at that time. And Later on, on the 17th of April 1975, while I was playing traditional games, uh, it was a chaotic uh, situation, and uh, I, someone uh, came to tell me that uh, why were you all playing the game? You why uh, not all of you ran away because the Khmer Rouge uh, defeated the uh, former regime already? I heard gunfire, and because of this, I escaped to Kopra. The day after, I came back to Dayat. Je suis le jour While the country was in chaos, I le noticed that uh, my uh, father was uh, wounded during the uh, fighting of uh, Lunol with Khmer Rouge uh, to depose the king Notre Dame Sihanou. At that time, I thought I uh, would have chance to meet my parents. So I uh, went through the crowd and I went past uh, Champa so that I could go back to see my parents. I witnessed uh, the incident that uh, there was a shooting, a shooting of a people. I was among the crowd, and I was trying to make an escape to avoid the, the bullet. Two of them uh, fell down. Two people fell down to the ground. And I was trying to uh, escape the bullet. And when I reached uh, the bank of the river, I could see that uh, former soldier in uh, Lono regime uh, were also killed because uh, those former soldiers did not uh, agree to take off uh, their clothes. So it is true what the colonel uh, the Filipino colonel told me after when I learned about the incidents, lawyer. So uh, what uh, did you observe? What situation did you observe uh, from the time that you were trying to escape and until the time that you reached the 1st January Dam worksite. Answer. 
réponse. I would like to tell the court as follows. Voici ce que j'aimerais dire à la chambre. I at that time I returned from Dayat. I spent time Parce in Champa Pagoda. I thought I was not able to go back to Phnom Penh because at that time there was shooting and it's uh, it frightened me. I spent time, I spent two months at Dayat living in the village having uh, banana stam soup and because I could not bear the situation, I decided to travel alone directing towards Swai Riang province. I was uh, on foot alone and I was trying to evade the to encounter the militiamen. And at that time, et I encountered militiamen, and uh, I was at the way I was going. I told the militiamen that I wanted to go to Swairien to meet my parents. That militiamen told me to go back, otherwise I would be assigned to carry dirt. I implored si the militiamen that I could, uh, so that I could uh, go back to see my parents. I was not allowed uh, to go to Swai Riang. However, I was doing my best to uh, go through, go past the villages and try to reach Swai Riang. I saw all cars piled up on the ferry crossing the uh, Nelung River, so I went under one of those cars and I hid myself there. And I could uh, observe uh, many footsteps walking around on the ferry. Luckily, I crossed the uh, to the other side of the river. I did not see any 17 April people there on the other side, and I saw only Khmer soldiers. I met them, and they asked where I was heading to. I uh, told them that, uh, comrade, I heard that my parents have uh, arrived in Swairing, and I was heading uh, to meet them. They said that I could rest uh, overnight, but I said no, I didn't want to, as I needed to hurry to meet them. Council intervened. My apology is uh, due to uh, time constraints. Uh, did you meet your parents when you arrived in Swairing? Answer. While I was en route, I did not uh, meet my parents. In fact, en it, route, was my, parents, it was a lie that I told them je leur avais so menti. that I could go and search for my parents. I didn't meet them, but I met my nephew in Bakpring village in the Zvairien province. Dans la province de Zvairien. My father uh, used to work in the Botpring village, so the old uh, uh, best people there knew him. Et donc, uh, les gens du peuple de base dans ce village le connaissaient. So they uh, kept silent about uh, the background donc, of my father. Ils ont gardé les antécédents de mon père. And in fact, the 17 April people were instructed to go Et to a new land in the rural area in order to engage in uh, the agricultural production. Faire de la production Anyone who wished to go could also go. Ceux qui y aller, le faire aussi. 
I thought that I had to go. I could not stay in Bad Pring village. J'ai pensé que je devais y aller. Je ne pouvais pas demeurer dans le village de Bad Pring. In the expectation that I would meet my parents in at the new land. Et je pensais que je voir mes parents dans Therefore, ce nouvel endroit. My sister and her family, including her husband and children, was put on an oscart, and I myself also went onto the oscart, and we were uh, on the way. There were more than 10 oscarts en route, and we arrived at Oconsign uh, village after a few days and nights. And we were placed uh, at various houses of the uh, best people in that village. Maisons. Upon our uh, arrival, there was no food to eat, and I could uh, find a crab. Then I ate that crab, un crab et je mangé. with uh, the rice that, that I was given by Avec the best people. Du riz que le peuple de base donné. We were given actually a can of rice. On m'a donné une canette de riz. On nous a donné une canette de riz. I was there only for a, a short period of time, and I was put Je into the regular mobile unit. Et ensuite, on m'a mis dans une unité mobile. I recall that a person named Kum Samol and Kum Kum Po and Kum Pon et Kum Kon. And myself, Chao Lang, Lang, were placed in the so-called regular mobile unit. Nous avons intégré une unité mobile régulière, ordinaire. Council, allow me to uh, interrupt, uh, Madame Civil Party. Laissez-moi vous interrompre, Madame. Partie. When you were uh, put on an outskirt with your Quand on vous a mis relatives. Sur un Where did uh, they drop you off, and when did they send you to the first New Dam website? Et quand vous ont-ils envoyé au barrage du 1er janvier? Answer: We Réponse. arrived at Oconsign village. Nous sommes arrivés au village d'Oconsign, and we remained there uh, shortly after I was placed into the Sector 42 mobile ensuite, unit, mis, donc, dans then I was sent to the first January Dam work site. At our initial arrival at the uh, dam work site, I couldn't... Uh, arrivée, I did not know the, in which village it was. Je ne pas What I can recall is that it was uh, near Mais the uh, main road, the national main pas road. Loin de la route nationale. And we were forced to carry us day and night. Et on nous a forcé à transporter du, de la terre, jour et nuit. Council, Mr. Uh, President, Lord Chanty, Monsieur le Président, I'd like to make a presentation of a video clip. J'aimerais montrer un extrait vidéo. It is 3 slash 33014 It's only a, a brief uh, a video clip. Et we seek your permission, Mr. President. Avec votre autorisation, Mr. President. President, yes, uh, President. you may proceed, the Council. Maybe you need, uh, please. Play Jean the Jean video uh, clipped as uh, requested by the lawyer for the civil parties. Madame Civil Party, from the short video clip, do you recognize that that was the uh, work site that you worked during the regime? 
le chantier où vous avez travaillé sous le régime Zero dans party. cet extrait vidéo Réponse. That is the location that I worked during the oui, c'est là que j'ai travaillé. When I was instructed to carry dirt at the work site. Quand on m'a donné de transporter de la terre sur ce chantier. The working condition was extremely difficult. Les conditions de travail étaient très très difficiles. Uh, sometimes uh, the carrying pole was broken Il and we had uh, uh, no replacement, so I used another stick to uh, tie the, the broken pole and continue the working. Réparer donc. Uh, sometimes I overworked. Les... It was beyond my physical strength. Il y avait des fois, j'ai travaillé beaucoup trop. Ça allait au-delà de mes forces physiques. I, whatever work to be done, I had to do it in order to avoid being killed. Pour éviter d'être tué. And usually, after we returned from the daily work routine, we attended small meetings in order to engage in the so-called. Criticism and self-criticism meetings to reflect on the achievement of the day. D'études et les réunions de critique et d'autocritique pour parler de ce qui s'était passé le jour. And to me, of course, such a reflection is good because we would know that it means that we could say the person was active or. That person was not active, and I did not expect that the the non-active. Workers would disappear. And one day, I actually criticized the group chief. I said that a comrade female. Moi, j'ai dit camarade. C'était une femme. You were a group chief. Camarade, vous étiez chef de groupe. And you blew whistle at about four o'clock in the morning. Et à quatre heures du matin, vous avez donné le coup de sifflet. And actually, when I came out from my sleeping quarter, the group chief was actually still lying in bed. And if you were to blow a whistle, you should come out as an example for us to follow. Vous devriez au moins être un modèle, le suivre. But instead, you blew a whistle while you were still lying under your mosquito net. Alors que vous étiez encore dans votre moustiquaire. Later on, I realized the big mistake I made. Mais je me suis rendu compte plus tard de l'erreur que j'avais commise. Later on, I realized the big mistake I made. Mais je me suis rendu compte plus tard de l'erreur que j'avais commise. They said that so far, no 17 every person ever criticized a group or a unit chief. On dit cet avril avait osé critiquer un chef d'unité. I did not know what to do. Je ne savais pas quoi faire. But I did it in good faith. Moi, j'ai dit ça de bonne foi. I believed criticism. Meant Je pensais que to reflect uh, our poor performance so that we could strive better. And I never better. thought that such a criticism or self criticism led, led to disappearance. Je n'aurais jamais cru, jamais cru que de telles critiques et autocritiques pouvaient donner lieu à des disparitions. Case, I criticized the group chief, donc, uh, but dans mon cas, for some reason, I. Did not disappear. Mais je n'ai pas disparu. Allow me to stress that I actually worked extremely hard at the dam construction site. I became so emaciated. J'étais rachitic. I did not have any physical strength, but I had to keep on working. Plus aucune force physique et pourtant je devais continuer. In order to avoid being killed. Pour éviter d'être tué. Later on, I was given a permission to have a one-day visit to Okonsain village. And my apology, Mr. President, I can recall that period or that day. I simply recalled that I was allowed a one-day off to visit the cooperative. Une journée de congé pour me rendre dans And la coopérative. Quand je suis arrivé au village de Okonsai, le m'a demandé uh, why I came. pourquoi j'étais venu. Because my relatives had been sent away and killed. Car ma famille avait déjà été envoyée et tuée. Bọn mất anh cái do ta xâm lập thôi. 
They said that my elder sibling was or had been taken away and killed. And I asked them what mistake my relatives made. Quelle faute avait-il commis? And they told me that they were accused of being Khmer so or white Khmer. And I said why? And I was told that because they had salt to eat. Et on m'a répondu parce qu'ils avaient mangé du sel. And as far as I understood and I learned, my relatives obtained salt from in exchange of a wristwatch. And I asked the uh, best people there how my relatives uh, were killed. And I was told that my other sister and her husband were chained to an ox cart. The three year old child was also chained and they dragged her crossing the forest. Ainsi que leur enfant âgé de 3 ans et qu'ils avaient été traînés dans la forêt. How terrible it was for a 3 year old child. If they were to kill them, why did they have to torture them by chaining them and dragging them behind an How terrible it was for my other sister and her child before they died. I myself, upon hearing that, almost fainted. Quand j'ai su la nouvelle, j'ai failli m'évanouir. All my hopes and expectations disappeared. J'ai été prise d'un grand désespoir. My knees trembled and became weak. Mes genoux tremblaient. Je suis devenu très faible. And those people told me that I better leave quickly, otherwise I might have been implicated. I didn't stay there for uh, one day as authorized, Je ne suis so pas I returned. Pour la journée. I feared Je that suis I would be implicated. I was afraid that they saw me weeping and I uh, was accused. So I returned. And once again, I tried to work as hard as I could, and I did not dare to do any activity that might raise suspicion. One day, I had high fever. I became Un jour, unconscious, and when fièvre, I woke up, I was in a small room in a hospital. Oh, I did not know when I was sent there. Je suis réveillé, dans there une was no food, there was no gruel or rice. And when I woke up, de I soupe de riz. could feel the high temperature. Et quand je me suis levé, senti que je faisais beaucoup de fièvre. And when the work finished at 5 p.m., Comrade Paul et à la fin du de travail, à 17 heures, le camarade Paul requested to come and uh, visit me, a demandé à venir me voir. because Paul was afraid that I would die Car from Paul the high temperature. Avait peur que je meure. De cette maladie. And Paul requested to uh, stay overnight with me. Paul a demandé à pouvoir rester avec moi cette nuit-là. At the moment, uh, this Paul or uh, Compo, 
lives in Canada he and uh, at that time Canada, she was uh, authorized to uh, stay with me Donc overnight. Lui a permis de rester avec moi ce soir -là. She uh, picked some kapok uh, tree Elle leaves. Elle est allée des feuilles de kapok. And she uh, ground it Elle a moulu. and put in a uh, container. It's, it was a uh, soldier a container. Les amis dans une and Cortina, qui avait asked me to, to drink it and she also used the que dû remaining boire. of the leaf to, uh, on my body in order Et to get rid of the, the high fever. Pour de faire tomber la fièvre. However, the high fever remained. Mais and Ça pas in early morning, Comrade Paul Et le lendemain, had uh, to return to work, then she begged the retourner. medical staff there for Travailler. better uh, medicine than the uh, uh, rapid drop uh, like les killers. Soignants, uh, qui sur place, de donner des médicaments. Ils lui ont then des they en forme de de gave uh, one pill. On lui a donné une pilule. And in fact, because of my medical background, I identified that the pill that Et was given was an aspirin. Connaissances en médecine, so I mixed that aspirin uh, with Donc, the kapok mélangé tree leaves. Au feuille de kapok. And uh, subsequently, the high temperature uh, was subsided. Et la fièvre est tombée. Although it was not completely uh, subsided, I had to return si to uh, carry dirt at the work site again. J'ai dû retourner transporter de la terre sur le chantier. Later on, uh, during the almost harvest season, at the c'était presque la saison des récoltes. Area of the 100 rice fields, Dans certain members of the mobile réserves. units had to be certain reassigned, including myself. Then we were assigned to harvest at the so called 100 rice fields. Nous faire the temperature dans was extremely hot, and Il there was no drinking water, and we were not given sufficient food to eat. Nous n'avons pas reçu assez de nourriture. We had to search for drinking water. Nous avons dû chercher de l'eau que nous. It was extremely difficult boire, mais to très difficile get any water that we could drink. Potable. And while while we were still working in the rice field, we had to Et alors que pick nous travaillons toujours dans les rizières, the Morning glory, including its roots, so that we could use it uh, as compris, our food. Uh, les racines que nous pourrions ensuite manger. We had to boil it. Il fallait le bouillir. Then, when we were given gruel, we mixed ensuite, the morning glory that we had de la soupe de riz, previously nous pouvions y mélanger with du les gruel. Oreaux que l'on avait fait cuire plus tôt. And once the harvest was completed, we were allowed to visit the cooperative. Après les récoltes, nous pouvions aller dans les coopératives. When I arrived at the cooperative, we were uh, given a rice je, of green beans and a bit of sugar so that we could boil it. quelques fèves et du sucre que nous pouvions faire bouillir par la suite. And so we thought that we were grateful that we were uh, given this green bean as well as uh, ces, ces fèves, sugar. Ces fèves, and ces for that reason, I decided not to return. Et c'est pourquoi je ne suis pas rentré. However, the nine of us who were allowed to visit the cooperative, 
did not want to return, but they came to instruct us to return. And we refused to return, and we said that we would remain with the villagers and their cooperatives, even if we were to be killed. And we were told that Lanka came to urge us to return, but we refused. And we said to live or to die, we would remain with the villagers in their cooperative. Avec les villageois. Then we were warned that we Mort were urged by Anka to return, and we did not return. And that we had rentrer, to be careful. Maybe next time it would be our turn to beg Anka. Despite the warning, we decided not to Attention, return. Attention, prochaine fois, c'est peut-être nous qui allions supplier l'encar. Mais nous avons fait fi de cet avertissement et nous avons choisi d'y rester. Then they went up to the cooperative chief. Ils sont alors allés who were instructed uh, to uh, call us to a meeting. Qui a eu pour instruction de nous we thought that réunion. the corporate chief would uh, only call us to a meeting and we Donc did nous, not nous expect that we réunion, were to be chained pas during that meeting. Pendant cette réunion. So I went to the meeting Donc, and allé. when we arrived in the room, they immediately started arrivés, putting chains on every one of us. Entre nous. Then they walked us through the, the night Et back ils nous ont to fait the tout, pendant toute la nuit, 100 rice fields area. À cet endroit, des 100 they warned us not to flee. They said that ils maybe only the, de uh, enfuir, ils ont the dit men could flee, but for us, the women could not be, could not flee, and that we would be shot dead. So, no one attempted to flee. And they walked us throughout the night, and by about midnight, we arrived at the 100 rice fields area. By the time of our arrival there, we lost our hope, and that we thought that would be our turn Et nous nous sommes dit que to die. Tour était venu de mourir. Then they instructed uh, the cook to cook Ils ont dit au some rice for us de and gave us also pour nous. a dry fish Et un peu de and séché. that would also uh, make us feel that it, this could be our last meal. Et nous nous so dit we ate our field. Nous avons tout mangé. And when we finished uh, that late dinner, they educated us. Après they ce said repas, that nous ont éduqué. You comrades are all lucky that Anka did not take you anywhere. It's because ne vous of your hard work. C'est vraiment parce que vous and travaillez Anka très fort. Anka sees that, and Anka gives voilà. you Anka this uh, rice to eat. Sans les rendre compte, et c'est pourquoi Anka vous Anka. donne. Euh, ce riz à manger et que nous devrions être reconnaissants. After that ordeal, we were reassigned from the 100 rice fields Après to another ça, canal construction in Villespeu or to grow a kapok trees in Bokknao. And we Bocknau. had to uh, make trips to those areas. And sometimes while I was uh, walking, I actually uh, fell asleep and moi, fell onto the ground. Alors que je marchais, je me suis endormi, so I had to wake up and started et walking again. Et à and before, we, uh, before the dawn broke, I fell a few times. Uh, and, et je suis tombé, uh, reprises avant and lastly, we arrived in Boknau. Nous sommes finalement arrivés à Bok. Now. We were instructed to uh, plant kapok trees and we Alors had to use uh, uh, rather cotton trees and they had to use pesticide uh, day and night et uh, des on the young cotton trees. Jours sur ces jeunes arbres 
and sometimes I was asked to carry uh, light bulbs for Et those people who sprayed the trees. Me promener avec une ampoule and pour, it's because of that that sometimes I failed. Les, les arbres. Et il m'arrivait de tomber. So sometimes I fell into a ditch and okay, uh, the workers came to drag me out. Le tomber dans le, dans le lawyer. Et les gens Thank you, Madame Civil Party. Lord Chauty. Merci, Madame la Partie Civile. When you were at the first January Dam work site, Quand vous étiez au barrage du 1er janvier, what kinds of uh, facts or things that you uh, could observe that uh, stick in your memory? Avez-vous vous souvenez-vous de certaines Sur choses party. qui vous ont marqué? Thank you for your reminder, um, uh, Mr. Lawyer. Merci de me le rappeler, Monsieur le témoin, Monsieur l'avocat. When I was at the first Standard Dam work site, Alors I remember some events uh, that were painful, and that I remember marqué, qui était assez when I was sick, I was oui. by myself. Quand there was malade, no relative seul. nearby, Je aucun and I did not expect that I could survive. Je ne pas y not at all. <laughs> And another uh, painful memory is the insufficient food. Une autre épreuve douloureuse était le manque With de the lack of food, I became emaciated. Je suis devenu très maigre. My skin was so pale. De nourriture et ma peau était très pâle. I had to work uh, until 10 or 11 o'clock through the night. The workers had returned to the sleeping quarter. And dans leur only I and Compo remained at the work site. Et and I had to guide Compo because Kampo he had night blindness. Elle de ces I had to guide her every night. And it was nuits, extremely difficult and tiring. As yes, it means that I had to sleep late Car every night. Je devais me coucher très tard tous les soirs. So I met with the uh, leadership level while I was uh, guiding her to Et the shipping quarter. Des dirigeants and there were three of them there. Le dortoir, il y en avait trois. Ils étaient trois. And I thought that I had to Et allow them to know that Compo had night's blindness. So when de ces cités I was uh, guiding her, approaching donc, them, I let Kimpo go. And Kimpo went and actually stumbled onto elle, the three men. Et elle, elle, euh, Elle and then they asked her why uh, she did that, and she ça. said that she could not uh, répond, see through the night. Ne pas voir la nuit. And they asked her why she Et was allowed to work uh, on despite her de night blindness. La nuit, même si elle ne and pas then avoir. I said that it was very difficult for her, and Et I myself had to guide her every night. Tous les soirs, je devais la then, these three men leadership Alors, told us to chef, inform the group chief not to allow her to work at night. De faire dire au groupe, au chef de group so it de was lucky for Campo uh, from Campo that day onwards, she did not have to work through the night. And night. that was Et the reason that Campo uh, requested for permission to stay overnight with me when I was seriously sick from high temperature et que je souffrais de temps de, de fièvre. Hey, moi à tête. Que je chum. Mais ça ça early a meeting was held every 3 days or every week in order to reinforce our recommitment uh, to work. And that we had to uh, say we commit ourselves to fulfill the 
first plan uh, set out by Anka and that we ah. had to achieve it 100% remplir le plan qui avait été établi and long live the great Anka. leap forward in the meetings we were warned that you all comrades the wheel of the history is moving ahead and it's, it is not moving backward any comrade that dared to obstruct or to block the wheel would be in trouble everyone was committed to complete and accomplish the uh, work quota set out by Anka. Lawyer, I would like to ask you another point. While you were working at the 1st January dam site, did you observe or witness any other incidents where one or your colleagues were arrested? Vos, un de vos collègues ou plusieurs de vos collègues auraient été arrêtés. Answer. I Réponse. do not know Je ne sais pas. that my uh, colleague, one of them, was arrested. All I know is that si un de mes collègues a été arrêté, everyone ce que je sais, uh, had the same or almost knowledge uh, that I had. La même connaissance, what we mêmes informations que moi. know at that time is to focus on our work, to Ce avoid uh, being époque, arrested. Sur notre While working, uh, we were looking around, and from time to time, the one uh, would disappear. Lawyer, what about Song and uh, her relatives? Answer, I would like to tell you, Mr. Lawyer, regarding Song. Song, at the time, did not work or stay at the work, dam work site. She was living in the cotton plantation. Now I would like to backtrack a little bit. Cotton uh, was grown in the plantation. One day, Comrade Jan, as uh, she was called, was a Taekwondo performer. Elle faisait du taekwondo. Lawyer, uh, Madame Sibyl Party. Now I would, uh, you are moving uh, to mention about the cotton plantation, Vous not uh, the first January dam work site. I have a question for you. Were you married at that time while working at the dam work site? Answer. I may not have uh, covered the full story. After I had good performance in my work, I was forced to marry my husband, uh, who I did not love at that time. I was told that, Comrade, uh, please uh, go to your place. And I asked uh, that person why I needed to go to my place. I, in reply, uh, that person said, I the marriage uh, was arranged uh, for me. At that time, I uh, told that a person, how could I uh, go and get married because I had no clothes, no new clothes. That person told me that uh, a new set of clothes uh, would be given to me, and uh, that person warned me not to refuse the marriage, otherwise it uh, would 
be a trouble for me. When I arrived at my place or sleeping quarter, a croma and a set of clothes were given to me, and I was told to get ready for the marriage. The marriage was arranged, and I was asked to hold hands with my husband in the marriage. It was not easy for me at that time because um, the candidate, the one whom I would get married, and I did not love each other, each other in advance. So we it. We spent a little bit time to dare and hold each other's hand. After we held each other's hand in the marriage, uh, we were allowed to stay together for three nights, after which we were sent back to work. On the first night, when uh, I met with my husband, I said nothing. Why? Because Pourquoi? there was a militiaman breaking uh, the wall of my place to see, Et or they were eavesdropping. So my husband and I decided to Donc keep silent, and we did not dare to move our body after three nights. We were separated. Women had to, uh, married women and married men had to stay in different places. And uh, we were assigned to grow the cotton. The husband was working in a different place, growing the cotton, and we were not allowed to see each other, lawyer. What about your family? Interrupt, interrupted by President. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lawyer. Thank you, Madame Civil Party. It is now time for a short break. We will take break from now until 3 o'clock. Court officers, uh, please uh, find a proper waiting room for this civil party and please to invite her back together with the TBO staff into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.